Today we're riding some triumphs. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Justin and I are still here in East Nashville and today we're riding some triumphs. I'll be riding my new friend Scott's Bonneville T100. While Justin will be riding a familiar bike to the channel, Ricky's Speed Twin 900. I've got more specs on both bikes later in this video. Look at this beetle. That thing's cooked. Aww. Can you see it? Eat it. Look at how cool he is. Green apple flavor. It matches Ricky's tank. You can have it like a talisman. Ricky, look! Oop, sounds like a triumph's pulling in. Grab Here comes our bike! Grab that gate. Oh. Wow, hey, hey. what's up? Sweet. This is sick. Is the T100, is that a 1000 cc? What's, what this is it? This one, for this year, it's an 865. Oh, nice. Wow, that's pretty. How many other bikes do you have? Um, just one right now, but this is my sixth in total. Oh, cool. Yeah, we were gonna say, come with us. This is your only bike, though? Well, I have a dirt bike, but it's not, you wouldn't want to ride it very far on the road. <laughs> we're going to Barista Parlor. No, oh, nice. Gallatin. Cool. I like a good destination yeah. instead of just like riding around. Definitely. I like to go somewhere. Let me ask you a question. What got you into riding? <laughs> a YouTube video, actually. Really? Uh, yeah. My, one of my buddies, he has a 1969 Honda CT90. Oh, nice. And um, he got it for some just like it did some yard work, got it for free, and it was all broken down. But there's a <laughs> RevZilla YouTube video where they took the old CT90 and the new Trail 125 from the south end to the north end of Alaska. Whoa. And I sent it to him and I was like, oh, we should get motorcycles and do this. Oh yeah. And he was like, I have that motorcycle <laughs> in my so basement. Sick. So um, I bought stuff for him and we got that one up and going. And then I bought a Honda 250 to get going. And I just like working on projects, having something to tear apart and rebuild so nice yeah. this one didn't need anything when i bought it it's it's my one good one i got this one from like a 90 year old guy um from europe but he lives in east tennessee um he bought it from his neighbor who bought it brand new and she did all the different stuff to this um and then he just left it the way that she made it she upgraded a lot of stuff on it yeah, but he was just getting older and couldn't ride anymore and wanted, you know, wanted someone to have it who could still take it out. I think it's just a baby. This is a little butthead. It might be looking for its mama to come back for food and maybe it can't find its way back up. Why do you little mother? No, Chris. <laughs> That's Chris. Hi, Chris. It's, <laughs> it's Chris. I can't tell if the GoPro can see how cool it looks. I'm just over here putting my rock form We're in. just waiting to go. I'm just... We were gonna try and wing it as far as. Well, we were gonna try to leave two hours go. ago, too. Yeah, but um, I've been loving my trusty rock form since I got it. Scott has a quad lock on here, but it doesn't work with my phone. Okay. I'm gonna be right here. Do, 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 do. Yep. <laughs> at least we'll, we'll be able to turn around in the parking lot of the place and come right back. <laughs> Chris, hey, there you go. Get in there, Chris. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like lost. I hope it can fly and are you gonna have a bird buddy friend bird partner? Bird. Get in there, bud. You can just live in all the plants inside. Just he just pooped. Oh good. Oh, oh Chris, you're just a man of the camera. You're a Hollywood man. <laughs> yeah. Get it, Chris. His feathers are blowing in the wind. Oh Hemsworth. <laughs> Wanna cruise? Yeah. All right. About a year ago, I picked up riding again after taking a few years off. It was my choice to stop riding, a decision based on fear, just as it was my choice to start riding again. We have choices. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, and sometimes those choices seem very small. But I find it incredibly empowering to know we have the ability to make our own decisions and to set our own path. 
Like many of you, I grew up watching Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Here's one of the many quotes I love from Fred Rogers. You rarely have time for everything you want in this life, so you need to make choices. And hopefully your choices can come from a deep sense of who you are. I enjoy pondering ideas like this. It's like the choices we make are influenced by some version of our true self. And on the other end, our true self is who they are because of the decisions we've made. And those can be two different versions of ourself. Now before I get too Rick and Morty on you, let me explain by using my journey with writing as an example. The decision to stop writing was based on fear. I allowed anxiety, doubt, and fear to call the shots. I went years without writing. I opened and closed a business in an industry that felt like the Wild West. I considered going back on anxiety medication. I applied for corporate design positions that I would have hated. I went way too long without seeing my sister. I hit a deer on the highway and totaled my car. That last part there about the deer and the car was a turning point. It shook me out of the fear that I was living in. Looking back, everything before that was like micro decisions, ones that you're almost not even aware you're making. I feel like those are the ones that build up and all of a sudden you look around like, um, what the heck happened and how did I get here? Then a big thing happens like the deer in the car and it's unavoidable that you have a decision to make. I ultimately decided to take the insurance money from my total car pay off the debt accrued while looking for work, start riding my motorcycle again, and jump headfirst into building a freelance graphic design business and ultimately a creative studio. The version of myself living in fear needed to die for this version of myself, let's call her Bugsy, to live. Maybe in some super twisted universal way, that deer on the highway last summer was a sacrifice. I'm not really sure I believe that, but sometimes it's nice to find meaning. Yeah, it's really, really tough. It sounds really cool, too. A lot different than any other bike I've ever heard. Yeah. It's sick. How does it, yeah, that sounds, that's like more like this. Like, yeah. It's crappier. Right? Well, it's soft bikes, too, right? I no, mean, those are soft. No, those are updated. This is, those I, think, are I think so. I don't know. You have to ask Ricky. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. This is so fun. I know, it's awesome. <laughs> We should have left it earlier. Yeah, it's okay. As soon as we started riding, it's like, shit, I just want to do that all day. I know. Yeah, that's a good one. Be careful on this stuff. I know, that's sketchy. Can we go wide? I guess we found it. <laughs> I didn't see it at all when we were driving by. I have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I've been here before. Oh, you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we came here when we were on tour last.
piece of chocolate. It's like food. There's chocolate in there. Should I eat it first? How do you do that? Let's see, do you dip it? Let's see, I have all the people yell at me. I'm not a yuppie, I don't know how this goes. Chocolate in. Opening up those notes. Slagging it. So you put the whole chocolate in, or flakes just chew on it? This is fantastic, you want some? No, it smells good. I got a shot in here. I got a strawberry matcha with a shot of espresso. Holy crap. Two please. Hot coffee on a hot day. With your hot wife. That looks sick. Yeah. Like here? Yeah, like right like in that blue one. Yeah, thank you. Scott's bike is a 2005 Triumph Bonneville T100 with an 865cc parallel twin engine. The carbs are upgraded to jets from the Thruxton. There's aftermarket pipes on here and the previous owner added mods like the front fairing, the rack on the back, and the small fog lights on the front. Justin and I can't believe this paint is stock, and I can't believe it's a 2005. This styling is so classic. I asked Scott like so many times what year this bike is because I just can't believe it. It's so classic. It looks like a vintage bike. Ricky's bike is a 2023 Triumph Speed Twin 900. He bought it new, like new, new. Like he said, it had zero miles on it. It's mostly just cosmetic mods that you see, but he's got big plans for this bike. this bike nice what 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 what, what did you, Hi. what was it <laughs> it was awesome i love this bike thank you scott First impressions, put you on the spot, right in front of Scott, you're on blast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just saying this because Scott's standing right there. Yep. It's my favorite bike I've ridden here. 
So like I rented a Rebel last time. And then I rented, I'm so sweaty. It's fine. <laughs> it's hot out. I rented um, that 883, that yep. Iron 883, which was awesome, but like so similar. The positioning was so similar to my bike. It was like, because I'm looking for my next bike, mm -hmm. you know? So I was like, okay, well, that was pretty close to what I already have. But this bike is very different from what I already have. And it has the power that I would want out of yeah. this bike. Nice. Yeah, nice. More than the Harley too? Yeah. Nice. Does that even make sense? Like Everything this, makes sense. What size engine is that? It's a 865 parallel twin. 865 parallel twin. So technically an 883 is bigger. Mm, or so larger right. displacement, but that doesn't mean this could have higher revving uh, internal gears too on like that you get your power quicker mm -hmm. um, So it could feel snappier when you want it. Yeah, I think the thing with the That's Harley is that like. low-end torque thump But then you have no real power band if you had to pass someone on the highway when you're yeah. up in the upper revs You yeah. really don't have much. I didn't really get that going Like I no, like I will. I could, yeah, it was I pretty congested. Like, yeah how fast have you gone on it? Oh wow. my god. It's as fast as it goes with the, the gears that it has right now. Okay, wow. yeah, that's amazing. If you change out the sprocket, it would be better for traveling on. Yeah. But it's good the way it is for around town. Nice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow, that's fit. So, okay, well, I mean, so there you go. Because that's the other thing we're thinking about yeah. is touring options. Mm -hmm. You know, both of our bikes, the ride we just did is about the extent that I would trust either of our bikes back home. but. Uh, when we went out to, uh, I'm going to screw up the name again, Ashland Park. Ashland Is that City. Ashland City? Okay, when we went out to Ashland City, Ricky's bike did real, real well, and she was cruising around like 70 on some of those like mountain, like two lane highway roads, mm -hmm. but probably not too much so more than that. Where did you get a bird? <laughs> His mom, he, I don't think he can fly. So I think you fell I off. They live in the overhead. You want to be on the camera? And his mom like a beefcake. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, baby. There were literal tears coming out. I would have been. <laughs> this is unreal. He's so cute. I gave wow. him a tomato from my garden. He loved it. He smashed it? He's moving fine. Like, he's yeah. moving up. Here we go. Oh. All right. That's a wrap on testing out this Bonneville. It has reaffirmed my love for triumphs. All right, Chris, who we've renamed Outro. Say bye. Say bye to my new friend, Outro. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't. See you on the next one. <laughs> outro.